Today I'm gonna be recreating these pizza nails from O oh Beauty by J. Yes, acrylic pizza nails. This is so cute. I saw these nails last year and I was like, I wanna recreate these. <laughs> so let's get started. I've already done my prep and all that, so we ain't gotta worry about that. And because I'm looking at the nail design here and it looks like she sculpted these. I can't really see a tip or anything. And, but judging by her page, it looks like she kind of does sculpt. So I'm down with that. I like sculpting. So I'm gonna use these nail forms today. These aren't the super long ones. These are my regular ones that I always use. We not going crazy, crazy long. We, we going long today, but not crazy. All right, so yeah, I already did that, dun, dun, dun. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this clear. I just try to make sure I have like everything I need before I put the nail forms on because it's kind of hard to do anything with them on. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and get everything together. Y'all are loving these recreations. I never really thought that y'all would be so into me doing designs, but I totally get it, you know, like it's fun. Oh, I should have got some paper towel for the monomer. All right, I'm actually a little still tired from the last recreation, like that was, <laughs> So, you know, hopefully this one doesn't kick my butt like last time. And if y'all didn't see that video I'm talking about where I did like crazy, crazy nails, y'all need to check it out, okay? <laughs> so anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and put these nail forms on. These are my tried and true I like these the best, just for, you know, simple nails. If you're doing anything crazy, then yeah. I mean, I guess you, you could get pretty crazy with these nail forms. They're long, but you know, they do get longer. I'm gonna try to keep them a little, not as pinched, so we can just have room to scope the pizza and all that. So let me go ahead and put these on. Mm, the main part is just trying to make sure these are straight. But yeah, I don't want them too pinched because I'm gonna need room. I'm gonna try to be able to see it's a pizza. <laughs> yeah, I look like I can probably form most of the stuff on the nail. I Hopefully I don't have to do anything off the nail because I don't really wanna do all that. <laughs> all right, so I usually just put the four fingers on and I wait to after those are done to put the thumb and do the thumb last because I need my thumb to use and you know, that's just how I do it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we do these fingers first. I gotta be kind of careful with this nail because it's crooked. So I gotta make sure I'm putting the form on straight. And we have the nail forms on. So let's get to sculpting. I'm just gonna go in, no, I changed my mind. I was gonna use clear, but no, I'm gonna use this tinted acrylic to kind of give more of that pink tone that we see. That's what I'm going for. All right. Mm, the smell of monomer. <laughs> I'm getting back used to it. All right, so let me go ahead and put some prep and primer on. Oh, that ain't it. Oh, here it is. Yeah, we are not gonna do no peel off base coat this time because as y'all saw, it don't work for me. Well, it does work. It worked too well. They pop off before I can even finish my nail set. So <laughs> we can't be doing that. And you know, these are, I, I have faith that these are gonna be really cute and um, I'm gonna wanna wear these pizza nails at least for like a week, you know? All right, we are ready for acrylic application. This is gonna be just a little bit different for me. I'm used to doing like coffin shape, like coffin, that's that's my go-to, that's what I like. <laughs> so stiletto nails, they're not hard. They're, it's just, you know, I ain't done them in a while. All right, let's go. Oh, that's real deep. I need a bare bead. Everyone's doing like these all-in-one powders and I think they're okay, but sometimes, I, you know, you just gotta, It'd be a little tricky on how much liquid to use because sometimes they can get a little, they can get a little ahead of you. But anyway, we're just gonna sculpt these out. I might take these a little longer because they gonna have to be. I love how smooth this acrylic is to work with. I don't know. I do feel like it's just a tad bit powdery though. I'm also trying to make my stiletto like really sharp so I don't have to do a ton of filing. That'd be my main problem. Like, I don't wanna do all that, all that filing. Um, 
I might have to go just a tad bit longer. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I'm gonna just put right there. That didn't help. <laughs> I was trying to make my point. All right, yeah, I think that's probably the length that I'm gonna go. And we'll just kind of clean up and just make everything neat. Oh, it's gonna be cute. I don't wanna go too thick because I do have to, I wonder if she went in with gel polish or maybe, I don't know. I think I may just go in with yellow acrylic and make the pizza and stuff. So we're just gonna keep this a little thin. And of course, we're just gonna continue to work our way back. Oh, this color is pretty on my skin. I thought it was gonna be too dark, but it's actually perfect. Right, and just a nice cuticle, nice cuticle bead. Oh, this is a little dark, huh? It's all right. All right, we almost there. <laughs> I say almost where, you know, I got four more fingers to do. <laughs> I don't know though. I think I'm like faster with sculpting than using tips. Cause with nail tips, you still gotta like file and shape and do all that stuff. With nail forms, you can just pop them on and start to go. Mm, I don't want it too flat. So we gotta add a little bit more acrylic. I'm gonna let this sit on the brush a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, I think that is the shape I'm going for. All right, I'm gonna have to work a little bit with this one. I'm going, I'm being like really picky and stuff about how I'm shaping it because like I said, I ain't trying to do a ton of fouling. I want this stiletto to be, you know, as close to the shape as possible. Yeah, so, you know, I think I can work with that. Of course, I'll have to clean it up just a little bit, but that's cool. We can work with that. So yeah, these are probably gonna be a little long. Not as long, you know, as crazy as the last recreating, but pretty long. So we're gonna go ahead and form these. All right, and the goal is to get this as like close to the stiletto shape as possible because you know, your girl don't like to do too much filing. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but the kids are up and they loud. <laughs> so, pardon me. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna form these. I don't know. I just think it's probably best for me to form it. It's actually quicker for me. Um, like sculpting is actually quicker because with tips, you still gotta like file and shape them and prep them and do all that. With nail forms, all you gotta do is just put them on and you good to go. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm much quicker with these. And I can get that exact shape that I'm trying to get. My problem with stiletto shape is that, I don't know, I can't never really get it sharp enough. But then again, I don't really want my stilettos really sharp because I would stab everybody in like a 10 foot radius. I can't stab my babies. It's gonna, it's gonna be like the picture, okay? It's gonna, it's gonna look good, <laughs> hopefully. But yeah, we're just trying to do this where it look good. Ugh, I don't know. I, I don't think I'm really liking this new formula. Well, I don't know if it's new, but this is the uh, Sea Glass collection from Kara Sky. It's a little hard for me to pick up like a large bead. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe I need to use a bigger brush. But yeah, kinda. Okay, so we gonna spill the acrylic. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, like when I'm trying to pick up a large bead, it's like this acrylic the sea glass it's like really ultra fine i don't know it's like it take a minute we're just gonna continue to build the nail up and yeah i think this color is just a tinge dark it looks like she used something a little bit lighter than this but you know when I do these recreations, I'm not trying, I mean, you know, I'm trying to be as close as I can to the artist, but I'm not buying anything else. Like I have a ton of stuff to go and see what's close in color to what she used. So that's why things probably won't be exact, but it'll be close enough. But yeah, this, oh. <laughs> Slip right out my hand. But yeah, this color is a little bit darker than the one that she used for her pizza nails. I hope it don't throw it off too bad. It's a little darker than I was expecting. But oh well, we here now, we gotta use it. Okay, I'm 
just trying to make sure it's not super thin, but we have to go in with yellow on top of this anyway, so it's gonna it's gonna gain a little bit of thickness. All right. Ooh, yeah. This base is just a little bit darker than when I was wanting to use, but I will. As I'm looking at this acrylic dry down, I am really upset that I chose this one. It don't go. It ain't gonna look like it. <laughs> gonna look like the picture. <sighs> Mm, mm, mm. I don't know why I didn't. I thought this would have been close because I did like swatches a long time ago. And I was like, oh, I remember this being like a light tint. But no, this is deep. This is super deep. Dang, I'm kind of mad. I don't know how mad I am. We're going to see. I don't know if I'm mad enough to actually take this off and do it again. <laughs> oh, blah, 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 blah. It ain't nothing I can do about it. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> Just so I can just see how how dark we talking. I need to see like, let me take this off. Hmm. I mean, it is what it is. Oh, uh, yeah, we just, I'ma just work with this because I'm mad. <laughs> okay, I mean, it may not be too bad. We'll just say, you know, the nail beds are like pizza sauce or something. All right, so we got all the nails sculpted and I'm just, oh. So let me just show y'all up close, so. All right, so, yeah, you know, this is, this is way darker than what I was expecting. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna get out my own way and I'm just gonna go ahead and shape and file these nails. Hopefully I'll like them after that. So, get my nail dust collector over here. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> Nails are foul, shaped, and buffed. Even though I'm not happy with this base color, we're just gonna keep it moving. So we're gonna go ahead and do the pizza 3D design. I'm pretty sure I should use acrylic for this. That's what it looked like to me. That's what I'm gonna use. <laughs> I even got this second angle because it looks like, you know, it kind of drips down. It's really cheesy. <laughs> so yeah, we gonna do that. Um, so I'm just gonna use this yellow acrylic and where's my 3D brush? All right, hopefully I won't mess this part up. <laughs> the pizza is pretty straightforward. We just gonna go right in with it. All right. I just wanna make sure it looks like, like cheese. <laughs> so the goal of this first layer here, I'm just gonna get it to where it's like covering the entire nail. And I'll worry about the drips and stuff later. But it's looking like cheese to me. Ooh, I even like, like I'm gonna just leave like the little blobs like that on the side so it can look like it's, it's just cheese. <laughs> I always kind of guess on what colors I'm gonna use. Like, you know, I know that I need a yellow, so I go and get the yellow that I have in my collection. So that's kind of how I'm doing it. But uh, this yellow is actually perfect. It really does look like cheese. Unlike this base color, but that is all right. We are just going to ignore that and move on. <laughs> okay, another little blob of cheese. Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> That's starting to look look like some cheese. All right, I'm gonna come over here to this side because I ain't put enough acrylic. But yeah, y'all see, y'all see the vision? I thought I was gonna need my 3D brush for the cheese, but it looks like I can get this done with this brush. It actually comes out a little more like authentic cheesy looking <laughs> so i'm gonna just do that for all of the nails all right so we got all of the cheese laid <laughs> that sounds so funny but here's a close-up you know it's supposed to look like not smooth right <laughs> okay so next i'm gonna go in with the crust so as we can see my pizza gonna be a little more chunkier than her pizza <laughs> so um 
Yeah, we're just gonna go in with this crest. I'm using, it looks like the only brown acrylic I had in my collection. I need to buy some brown. Okay, see, her crest is a little thin. I'm going for that thick stuff crust. <laughs> so, we're just gonna see how this works out. I'm gonna hold my bead on, on the brush a little longer because I need it to keep its shape. Okay. Ooh, I mean, I guess this is looking like Chris. Mm, where's that other one? Let's see if I can like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it really looked like piece of crust. I'm gonna try something. Mix in a lighter shade to see if that kind of does something. Mm. <laughs> Just add a little bit more crust over here. Okay, see that's what I need to do. I need to not make it so round, I guess. And it needs to be like a clean, I think. <laughs> I don't know y'all, I'm just winging this honestly. I'ma just leave it like that cause uh, I don't wanna keep on messing with it. Hopefully it'll start to look more like a pizza once I put the toppings on the pizza. <laughs> this looks so silly. <laughs> All right, but next we're gonna go in with the pepperonis and I'm gonna use some red acrylic. The more that I look at her picture, it looks like she may have just drew the circles, but I don't know if I'll have the same effect because it's a little more going on on my pizza. So I think I'm gonna go with 3D pepperonis. Wish me luck. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hold that on my brush for a little bit, making sure it doesn't spread too much. I'm gonna put a pepperoni right here and we're just gonna flatten it out to where it looks like a pepperoni. I wasn't sure what size brush to use, but this is perfect. Okay, I'm starting to feel a little bit better now. <laughs> I can see how it's gonna look more like a pizza once the pepperoni is on there. I'll probably do three pepperonis on here or however many fit. Let that sit a little bit. But yeah, once you flatten it out, it look like a pepperoni, right? <laughs> Flatten you out. Oh yeah. You know what kind of vibe this is giving me? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, okay? You know they love them some pizza. <laughs> this is the vibe that I'm getting. Mm, I think I'm probably just gonna do two on that one. I don't wanna overdo it with the pepperoni. We want it to look like a pizza, not a Christmas tree. This is so silly. But you know, I enjoy doing crazy nail designs. I must say that. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Not practical ever, unless you're going to like, I don't know, pizza conference or something. But this is cute. Pizza, pizza. I'm having way too much fun doing these pepperonis. <laughs> I think just for me though, like it's coming together. It's coming together so much more than what I thought. Cause I was looking at this design like, uh, here we go again. <laughs> As you can see, this is not a recreation anymore. This is an inspired vibe because <laughs> this looks nothing like the picture, but that's okay. All right, so I'm not gonna bore y'all with the rest, but we are gonna put pepperonis on the rest of these nails and I'll be back. It's starting to look like pizza, right? <laughs> all right, so we got all the pepperoni laid and now we're gonna go in with the green peppers. I think that's what the green is. So yeah, we're gonna do these little green specks. As I'm looking at it, it looks like she just used gel polish, but we already on this 3D acrylic cliff, so we're just gonna jump. <laughs> Hopefully, I can just do a little speck of green. It just needs to be tiny. Oh, that's bright. <laughs> oh well. Okay, and then we're just going to make it look like, kind of like a curve a little bit. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just, kind of just winging it like I always do. Okay. That looks like a pizza topping. And I'm just gonna randomly place these little green bits on my slice of pizza here. Mm, don't do one right here. It's important to wait for the acrylic to kind of lose its shine a little bit. 
you'll be able to mold it easier. I don't know, something like that. Okay, you know, some. <laughs> I'm actually really liking this nail design now. At first, I was so mad at myself <laughs> for this base color, but it looks like we are gonna be all right. I don't know, this kind of reminded me of like a Play-Doh pizza. Like, you know how everything just kind of looks perfect and bright colored. It's giving me Play-Doh and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, this turned out way better than I thought, cause ooh, I really thought that I messed these nails up, but now this color kind of looks like it can be the pizza, the pizza sauce. So um, when I was looking through the pictures that I, you know, I wanted to do the pizza nails. So I went to Old Beauty by Jade's page and looked up her pictures and stuff. And I read her caption and she said that she only did these for fun and she clipped them off right afterwards. I was like, why? Yours actually look wearable. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I get it. That is the beauty of being a content creator. You really just do stuff for content and then you clip your nails off. But yeah, if I try this again, I'm gonna try to do more daintier pizzas like the picture because those are very wearable. All right, so next we gotta go in with, um, I'm guessing it's black olives. I love black olives, like I love black olives. <laughs> we gonna go put the little specks in there. I really like how she did the shading on her pepperonis, but I ain't about that life. <laughs> Trying to get really tiny dots of black. I guess it doesn't necessarily have to be a perfect circle. It just gotta be like small. Okay, I don't wanna mess with it too much because then it starts to do that and we don't want it to bleed. Yeah, I ain't gonna mess with it. I'm just gonna drop the circle and move about my day. Mmm, that's making me hungry. <laughs> Why does this look so cool though? Like, okay, I was way too hard on myself. Even though it's not like exactly like the picture, I'm liking how this turned out. All right, pizza. I'm actually debating if I should keep it matte or should I put like top coat on here? Because on hers, they're shiny. My pizza dry. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna have to see how it look with top coat. Mm, let me put top coat on the nail bed area and see how I like that. I think I'm gonna go for it. I think I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go and put the top coat on. This kind of just gives it that extra hot, cheesy pizza look. Don't nobody want no dry cold pizza. <laughs> I know, you know, some of y'all gonna probably screaming at the screen saying no. <laughs> but I think I'ma go for the top coat. Oh, don't it look like it just came out the oven, y'all? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. And we are done. That is pizza there, okay? That is a hot and ready. <laughs> but yes, this is how my pizza nails turned out. So how y'all think I did? I mean, I think it's pretty close. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna have to give me a pizza pad on the back. I did good on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys enjoy me recreating nail designs, check out another recreation video right here. And I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.